Hi, I'm Jenny from Rilo Kylie, and I'm currently in Genville. So you're vegan? I am not officially vegan, but, but vegan I too. strive to. It's so hard. It, it is very difficult, and especially my, on the road. My imagine. biggest downfall is cheese because I just I just love it. Yeah. Havarti, I'll. You know, I'll eat the shit out of some Havarti. Truly, <laughs> I, I love it. But I, I try and I make a, a conscious effort every day to sort of not include animal products in uh -huh. my diet. And by the end of the night, sometimes I'm not successful, but my intentions are good. If I well, came to dinner, what would you prepare? Well, I have to say that I was sort of introduced to uh, vegan cooking um, by uh, a friend of ours who actually produced our record. His name is Mike Mogus, and he lives in Nebraska. And we, re we recorded our record in Lincoln, Nebraska, and he would cook for us every night. Mm -hmm. And he sort of taught me a little bit about cooking, because for me, growing up, I knew how to make uh, scrambled eggs and Pop-Tarts. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was sort of limited to that. <laughs> Together? Yeah. A good combination. And uh, so he um, sort of taught me how to cook some basics, you know, tofu, tempeh, um, vegetables. And the ingredient of choice is nutritional yeast flakes and drags amino acids. Truly, you, you can put that flavor, in the food and it like it's a, that's what like gives it. Like, it enhances whatever sort of vegetable or tofu thing you're you're cooking with at that time. You know, do you, what do you have an opinion on? We were actually talking about it tonight because we went to this Chinese restaurant that's right up the street and Blake burst in and said, do you have any fake meat here? And there was a man standing behind me and said, fake meat? This is like an oxymoron. What are you talking about? And I understood at the time how it, how it seemed sort of awkward, mm -hmm. but man, we love Philadelphia because they have the most amazing mock duck. Really? And I enjoy a fake meat product. Dude. I didn't stop eating meat because I don't like the way it tastes. I stopped, oh, okay. I stopped eating meat because I traveled across the country and sort of saw the country and noticed how it's made up of corn and 78% of that corn goes to feed cows and it perpetuates just this endless horrible cycle. So I like the taste of meat, therefore the I will, oh, I will yeah. eat a, a fake chicken meal. <laughs> But ultimately, it's a bit slimy, <laughs> and it's got a, a little sour kick to it. A little it. edge. A little edge. <laughs> That's great. Thank you very much, Jenny. Well, thanks. I look forward to um, having you in my kitchen, and I'll concoct some sort of horrible creation That'd that you'll be love. That would be fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> thanks.